The Life and Sad Ending of Philip Ahn Philip Ahn was born in the Highland Park neighborhood of Los Angeles, California, on March 29, 1905. His parents, Dosan Ahn Chang Ho and Hai Jeon Li, were both Korean immigrants who had moved to the United States in 1902, making him the first American citizen born of both Korean parents in the United States. His father Dosan was a well-known educator and an activist for Korean independence while Korea was under Japanese rule. He moved to the U.S. to seek better educational opportunities. He became an informal ambassador to the Korean American immigrant community in California and became one of its first leaders, founding the Mutual Assistance Society, the first Korean political organization in America. When he was in high school, An visited the set of the film The Thief of Baghdad where he met Douglas Fairbanks. Fairbanks offered him a screen test, followed by a part in the movie. However, his mother told him, no son of mine is going to get mixed up with those awful people. Ahn graduated from high school in 1923 and went to work in the rice fields around Kulsa, California. The land was owned by the Hung Sa Dan, or Young Korean Academy, a Korean independence movement that trained Koreans to become leaders of their country once it was free from Japanese rule. Since Koreans could not own land in California, the academy put the property in An's name. Unfortunately, the rice crops failed because of heavy rains, and An found himself deeply in debt. He went to work as an elevator operator in Los Angeles to pay back the debt and help support his family. It was not until 1934 that he could afford to attend the University of Southern California. His father told him if he really wanted to be an actor, he had to be the best actor he could, and convinced him to take acting and cinematography courses. While still a student, he appeared in a stage production of Merrily We Roll Along, which toured the Western United States. Ahn served as president of the USC Cosmopolitan Club, was chairman of the All-University Committee on International Relations, and was assistant to the Dean of Male Students as an advisor for Foreign Student Affairs. After completing his second year, however, Ahn dropped out to act full-time. Ahn's first film was A Scream in the Night in 1935. He appeared in the Bing Crosby film Anything Goes, though the director, Louis Milestone, had initially rejected him because his English was too good for the part. His first credited roles came in 1936 in The General Died at Dawn and Stowaway, opposite Shirley Temple. He starred opposite Anna Mae Huang in Daughter of Shanghai, 1937, and King of Chinatown, 1939, becoming the first self-represented on-screen Asian-American romantic couple of sound-era Hollywood cinema. During World War II, Ahn often played Japanese villains in war films. Mistakenly thought to be Japanese, he received several death threats. He was frequently cast in these roles opposite Chinese-American actor Richard Liu. He enlisted the United States Army, having served in the special services as an entertainer. He was discharged only because of an injured ankle and returned to making films. An's role as a conflicted Ibonge Hongugin, Korean of Japanese descent, doctor in the 1945 Pearl Buck adaptation China Sky, is notable as one of the first depictions of a Korean character in a major Hollywood film. An appeared in Love is a Many Splendored Thing, Around the World in 80 Days, Thoroughly Modern Millie in Paradise, Hawaiian Style with Elvis Presley. He played Korean characters in Korean war movies such as Battle Circus, 1953, in Battle Hymn, 1956. In 1952, Ahn made his television debut on The Schlitz Playhouse, a series he would make three additional appearances on. Ahn would also be cast in four episodes of ABC's Adventures in Paradise, four episodes of the ABC Warner Brothers crime drama Hawaiian Eye, and the CBS crime drama Hawaiian Five-O. He made three appearances each on Crossroads, Bonanza, and MASH, he would also appear in two television movies. An's most notable television role was as Master Khan in the television series Kung Fu. A Presbyterian, An felt that the Taoist homilies his character quoted did not contradict his own religious faith. Sadly, An died on February 28, 1978, 
due to complications from surgery. He was 72 years old. He was buried at Fort Lawn Memorial Park, Los Angeles. In 1984, Anne was posthumously inducted into the Hollywood Walk of Fame with a motion picture star for his contributions to the film industry. His star is located at 6211 Hollywood Boulevard. He was the first Korean-American film actor to receive a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame.